Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning the spark of God that is within you. And I'm speaking from experience. This is not something that you can discover psycho uh, uh, psychologically or uh, you can discover intellectually. That's what I really mean to say. Okay? So, this is not something that you try to discuss or you try to reason. You can only know this through experience. Okay? And when the spark of God is ignited within you, you will definitely ascend like a fiery being. And when you ascend like a fiery being, you will come out of your body through your skull. And you will find your skull to be Galgotha. You will find your body to be the tomb in which God is buried. You will understand the crucifixion of man, okay, upon this cross. You will also understand the virgin birth, what it's really all about. And you will realize what the great earthquake is all about because there will be a great shaking or a great reverberating and that will be taking place within you. Also, you will understand what people refer to as the rapture, okay? And you will know that it is something that takes place within, not something that takes place without. Also, when the spark of God is ignited within you, you will realize that as above, so below. And so you will realize that your first birth is the world from down below. And you've been expressed into the world of the physical. But when you have the birth from above, you'll be expressed in the world of the spiritual. That is why most people will not believe you. That's why most people will call you a madman. They will call you a crazy man. They would say you are blasphemous and they would say all of these things towards you because they have never had the experience. Also, when you have the experience of the spark of God being ignited within you, you will discover that the greatest lie that has ever been fed to humanity is that Jesus and Mary's story that has been interpreted to you as literal and as secular history. Also, you will discover that if there was a literal man 2,000 years ago, that that literal man 2,000 years ago must belong to a certain race, then you will realize if that is so, that there would be a specific people on the face of the earth that is God's people and the other people are just there. But it's not so. There is one spark that is in all of us. Many of us refer to this spark as the life that is within us. But many of us have never discovered the life that is in us in its true essence. In terms of the life that is in you, it is invisible. It's an invisible substance. And so when you get in, in touch with this invisible substance, you will definitely become invisible. You become one with the wind. I'm speaking from experience. Nothing else but experience. Okay? And so when you become one with the wind, you definitely understand the whole secret of St. John chapter 3 and you will understand the secret of the entire Bible. And when you speak, it would be very much hurtful to people who are religious and superstitious, especially those who have been making a living out of the teaching of the theologian gospel whereby they theorize the Bible for you and make you believe in theory more than that which is practical. And because of that, many people never get to discover the Savior within themselves. Many people never get to discover the Redeemer within themselves. And they continue to live in ignorance, looking outside of themselves for a Savior. But those of us, who have experienced the God that is within. We were born on the face of this earth for this reason, for this purpose. You see, we live in a world where people would accept a doctor, they would accept a lawyer, they would accept a teacher, they would accept a politician, they would accept a preacher, but they will never accept the Christ. Because you see, they teach you that the Christ is a man 2,000 years ago, but no, the Christ is the man or woman in whom God awakes. And if God awake in a black man, the black man that is speaking to you, 
That is Christ in flesh. That is God in flesh. Because he knows that he is God. And he would have an experience whereby his son, right, as a child, which is actually all of humanity being personified as a child, will call him father. And he would understand in Matthew, I think it's 11, 47, something like that. It says only the father can reveal the son and only the son can reveal the father and whom he chose to reveal himself to. So whether, whether you are black, you are white, you are grey, you are pink, you are orange, <laughs> you are red, you are yellow, it doesn't matter. Once God awakes within you, you are God in flesh. But when you believe in a man 2,000 years ago, you have to decide which race that man belongs to. And whatever race that man belongs to, that is who you are worshipping, to be your God. And that is idolatry. So my brother, my sisters, I want to say to you that there is a spark that is in you. And you have to have a, a, a deep desire for that spark to be ignited in you. However, that there, there, however, sorry, there are ways that you can cause this spark to ignite within you. By changing your belief system. By starting to look within yourself. Because you believe that the kingdom of God is within you. Because you believe that God is man's man's imagination. And you start to live from within. When you accept that you are a spirit having a human experience. And you start to live from the wall of spirit. That also can help to ignite the spark that is within you. Because you will start to go to bed being more conscious. You start to wake up being more conscious. And you start to hold yourself more responsible for your thoughts and your actions. You will not be blaming a devil. You will not be looking for a scapegoat to put the blame on. You will know that it is your negative thoughts that is creating your negative reality and creating your negative experiences. Okay? So, my brother and my sisters, this kind of teaching that I normally teach you is to help to ignite the spark that is within you. And when you start to practice things like affirmations and you start to practice things like visualization you start to practice meditation it is because you start to go into that place of silence you got you start to go into that place whereby you can listen to the god that is within because god is actually your intuition okay your inside teacher who wants to lead you and guide you but most of all he wants to erupt within you he wants to ignite within you so you will have that born again experience of course you still be living the same life people will be seeing you the same you'll have the same kind of conversation as usual and so on but you will know that you are god you will definitely know that you are god not from theory you see because we are living in an information age and there's so much information going around there's a lot of people who profess in their, that they are god and they profess in a lot of knowledge this is the age of the flood the earth is flooded with information we're living in the time, in time of www.com. A worldwide web, a web of information. And people are getting themselves drunk in intellectualism. But I am speaking as a witness. I am speaking as one who had the ball from the skull. <laughs> and I am telling you, it's the greatest experience anyone can have on the face of this earth. That is why I know the whole of society has been indoctrinated. I know the whole of society have gone wrong. That's why they would think me crazy. So, my brother, my sisters, I can go on and on and on and on, but I want to say to you, if you have never listened to my lecture called The Secret Vagina, it's on Amazon Prime. I would encourage you to check it out. And I want to say to you, year after you have been telling people, well, the book is coming, The Secret Vagina, I'm, I'm going to promise you that this year is going to be available to you. Okay, but well, I have another book that I've been working on, you know, and I'm going to make sure to finish this book that I've been working on. And then the next book would definitely be The Secret Vagina because actually it's finished because I realized I would have to, you know, make two versions of that book because it's all over the Bible, but much people cannot see it. So I decide to, you know, finish up this one and I'll have it available for you in this year. I promise you that. So my brother and my sisters, I want to encourage you to keep to believe in yourself and keep loving yourself and accept the fact that the self of man is actually God. Start to love yourself and start to believe in yourself. 
So let me say again, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you, if it resonates with you, and you have a subscriber already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, or if you would like to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly to support this work because it's quite beneficial to you, I just want to remind you that there's a PayPal and the link is always down below. So you can feel free to check it out. Also, you can choose to be a part of my Patreon community and support this work continually as I work towards the upliftment of all of humanity, teaching each and everyone that true salvation is definitely self-realization. Also, I have a $20 course that is called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously. And it's all about me teaching you about the sun that is within you, the light that is within you, the intelligence that is within you. And when you are in alignment with the intelligence that is within you, it would not be hidden because your light will so shine before the world and the world will see. So, in other words, there will be need for any argument. Your light will display itself. Okay? Because as you can see, look at nature. The law of reproduction is that every seed and every species do reproduce after its own kind. So if you find that light that is within you and you are in alignment with the light that is on the outside, which is the S-U-N, you will realize that whatever the sun shines upon, it brings forth bountifully. So to you see that your life starts to bring forth bountifully. You see the change, you feel the change, and you will see it happening in your life. And that would be the rising of the sun in you. And it's going to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger until someday you're going to experience the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and realize it's the dawning of a new day in your life. So my brother, my sister, if you feel strong to check out those videos, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. At this time, I want to just say peace, love you all, I'm out.